growth hacking requires substituting TV and billboard advertisement for with unconventional methods, which utilize user psychology to expand business in a cost-friendly way. Growth hackers revolve around non-traditional solutions and help businesses gain new clients with the help of innovative channels. The key thing that it focuses on is growth. Most growth hackers hunt down any growth traction they can grasp, even if they are temporary. They find any solutions which can help the business grow, even if it is only for a small period of time. The main followers of growth hacking are usually startups because they want cheap yet effective ways to create a solid brand name. As they have tight budgets, they have to find innovative ways to market themselves as traditional practices are not budget friendly. They want something that is easy on their pockets, but is also attractive and appeals to potential customers. This is where growth hackers come in handy. They help startups expand by using the art of SEO, social media, and content marketing, which leads to exponential growth without being very costly. Growth Hacking versus Marketing Growth hackers are in some ways like marketers, but also innately different from them. Both marketers and growth hackers are there to promote business, but the desperation and quality of single-mindedness set the growth hackers apart from marketeers. Growth hackers focus solely on growth, and they will go to any lengths to achieve this, and this is what differentiates them from other promoters. It is the result that matter to them, and they will utilize any means to produce them, not caring about the circumstances or resources. Advantages of Growth Hacking It helps to achieve results fast. It requires minimal expenditure. It results in huge growth with simple and clever shortcuts. It is a guaranteed method for fast-growing success. It can be molded according to business needs. It can be used by any company, regardless of their size, location, or maturity. It is a proven way to get millions of users in only a few years. Elements of Growth Hacking Growth hacking is a process made of many elements. These elements are 1. Rapid experimentation 2. Marketing funnel 3. Product development 4. Sales segmentations the key to identify areas for experimentation through which a business can grow efficiently and then use marketing funnel, product innovation, and sales segmentation to achieve that growth. So a growth hacking team would be made up of a combination of marketers, engineers, developers, and product managers who will work together to build a business by engaging more uses. Remember the better the team members complement each other, the more the elements will work in harmony to accelerate the success while remaining within the budget. The Aim of Growth Hacking Growth hackers aim on finding low-cost alternatives to traditional marketing. It prefers the use of less costly means like social media, targeted advertising, and viral marketing, or overpaid marketing like advertisements on billboard, newspaper, and television, because they are less costly. It focuses on reducing cost per customer acquisition to the organization so that the growth is not only fast, but also economical and sustainable. The key cornerstone is on long-term sustainability. It aims to provide both lead generation as well as optimization. It not only cares about customer attraction, but also worries about customer retention. Look at it this way. Imagine your enterprise is an empty pail and customers are water. To fill the bucket, you not only have to pour water in the bucket, but will also ensure that the bucket is not leaking or it would lead to wastage of water. The same is the case for growth hacking. It ensures that the business not only draws and engages clients, but also retains them or else all the efforts will go in vain leading to waste of money and time. Tools for growth hacking. Businesses which specialize in growth hacking do not depend on one type of marketing or product, but combine various ways in optimal amounts to maximize their reach. Days of relying heavily on just one source of advertisement are long gone as growth hacking provides a plethora of promotions and product iterations. If you combine these in right amounts, you can come up with a perfect recipe for success to rapidly grow your business. 
To produce such a strategy, you can use different tools and techniques, which can include persuasive content marketing, email marketing, search engine optimization and viral strategies, social media and community management, A-B testing, website analytics, growth hacking and product development. Not only marketing, but also product development is heavily influenced by the growth hacking. The growth hacker's mindset is not limited to just promoting the product, but it also focuses on product development, as it believes that the product itself holds significant intrinsic value in the growth process. It aims for short cycles instead of long cycles and ensures that each cycle is followed immediately by user testing. In growth hacking, each step in product development involves wireframes, ideas, and sketches at every point, and instead of conducting behind the doors of corporate usability lab, it is carried out in open with customer involvement. History of growth hacking. Growth hacking is a process which has been used since long put the term was coined in 2010 by Sean Ellis. It has been applied in practical terms for years, but it was never identified as a separate concept until Sean Ellis defined it in his blog post by identifying growth hacker as somebody whose true north is growth. He was the first person to discuss it out in the open by accepting that businesses which scrutinize their every action by its impact on growth are basically using growth hacking procedure. Later, it was Andrew Chen who did the introduction of this term in a larger audience by using it in his blog title called Growth Hacker is the New VP Marketing. In this article, growth hacking was defined and explained through an example of short-term rental platform Airbnb, which integrated growth hacking procedures successfully. It also highlighted growth hackers as a hybrid of coder and marketer which adopted modern marketing tools like A-B tests, viral factor, landing pages, and email deliverability to achieve organizations' aims. After that, Aaron Ginn presented Growth Hacker on TechCrunch. He defined it as a mindset which requires creativity, content, and curiosity. Furthermore, it was publicized by Raymond Fong and Chad Ritterson in their book, Growth Hacking. It was described as a very resourceful and innovative marketing strategy that is single-minded on high-leverage growth. After that, Growth Hackers Conference sprung up. They were held in San Francisco by Yegan Bayani and featured growth hackers from all around the world. Established businesses like Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube helped promote this conference. In 2015, Growth Hackers took one step further up the ladder and became a worldwide phenomenon when Everett Taylor and Sean Ellis made it viral by creating a website called Growth Hackers. It became the largest community that is dedicated to growth hacking and sets up annual Growth Hackers Conference to promote it.